Om Shanti and okay, welcome to you. We were not able to do the recording of yesterday's call blessing because of being very very busy, extremely busy in our housework. And now we are here with yesterday's recording, which you can listen to it now. And then tomorrow morning you'll be listening to twenty third of call blessing, and in the evening we'll get twenty fourth. So please bear with me and bear with this channel. We are here for you, and let's go ahead with attachment theory. Supreme Father wants us to become a conqueror of our attachment, and it is for our own good because He wants us to be a, a conqueror of attachment because we will get disturbed if we are sitting in meditation trying to remember God, and this happens during a meditation process. We have a visual picture of things and people. And situations, and even a future which we have already planned out, and we are visualizing something in our life, and it all comes in our third eye. We visualize it, but God says, when the time comes to go back home, and if you are still visualizing the old, then the new will not be visualized, and you cannot enter the new gates of heaven. You cannot enter into Mukti Dham or Param Dham because your thoughts will not let you. Your thoughts will be over here. So it's going to be a little difficult to leave the body and go back up. That's why we say neither did we bring anything with us, nor will we take anything with us. So God here says, may you be a conqueror of attachment and an embodiment of remembrance, and stay constant and stable by making the Father belong to you in all relationships. If I want love, it's my Father who's going to give me love. My husband, my wife is going to give me love. If it's my friendship which I want from people, if I'm not getting that friendship from people, the true friendship, then it's he who is my friend who's going to give me that friendship, who's going to guide me. And that's what Sikha says. In order to become a conqueror of attachment and an embodiment of remembrance, make the father belong to you in all relationships. Do not let your intellect be attached to anyone in a physical relationship. That means you look forward for your. Parents, your brothers, your sister, your friends, your companions, your anyone to guide you and help you. Do not let your intellect be attached to anyone in physical relationship. And when that doesn't happen, then the mood swings, right? So God says, if there is attachment to anyone, your intellect will wander. You won't be able to meditate on Him, the Creator, because He's come here to make us feel that we are bodiless. We came bodiless. We have to go back bodiless. You will sit down to remember the father, and instead of that, you will remember the one you were attached to. Very simple. Some have attachment to money, some to their jewelry, some to their relationships. So, where the money goes, the attachment goes. That means wherever you put the money, your mind will go there. Wherever those things are, their intellects will go there. If your intellect is repeatedly pulled by those things, you cannot remain constant and stable. As simple as that. You may try any form of meditation in the world, but if you don't have love for the Creator, then your mind and intellect will be wandering from one thing to another thing to another person to another thing to another place. It's going to be always doing that. So. How do we do that practice so that we are in remembrance of the Creator, the incorporeal being, the Father, Allah Jehovah, and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. How to be connected to Him directly. You're most welcome to attend that beautiful class, a seven-day course, one hour a day each day. I'm Shanti.